is in the lineup this year for Oregon. A lot of new guys, a lot of young guys, and some new faces on the sidelines as well. That's right. Two new coordinators for the Ducks. This is not a new situation. The Ducks have had a revolving door in the coordinator's position. Four coordinators defensively in the last five years and three different coordinators in the last three years on offense. Let's meet the new guys in the booth. Their actions on the field mirror their coaching personalities. One appears to be in perpetual motion. Come here, Mac. Come here, Mac. Come here, Mac. The other, a calming influence on his position players. The two newest coaches on the staff now represent the heart and soul of weekly game plans. Defensive coordinator Rich Stubler comes to the Ducks after 13 seasons in the Canadian Football League. He reached pinnacle of success in CFL, coaching in five Grey Cups, including two championships. His defenses were known for aggressive, takeaway football, constant pressure on the quarterback, we'll get you before you get us. And his personality reflects his style of defense. Junior cornerback Kenny Wheaton has played for three different coordinators the last three seasons. He says each has a different style, with Stubler being the most active. Coach Hyper. I mean, at all times. I mean, we look at him, we like, you know, Coach got age on him. You know, how can he be this hyper? But he's a hyper guy and love to get out of him, and we love it because that's how we are. Dirk Cutter appears to be the antithesis of his counterpart. Calm, cool, collected, always in control, and already a player favorite. He's a great football mind. Uh, he loves the game. Uh, he studies the game. Uh, he, he works well with every, all the players. Uh, he, he's been a real great fit for us. The former Idaho native is back on the West Coast after successful stints at UTEP, Missouri, and most recently Boston College. And he feels thankful for the opportunity to coach at Oregon, not only from a professional standpoint, but personally as well. After you start to have a family, you, you uh, are, are much more concerned about where you live and where those kids grow up. And so I, I've really been looking for a place, uh, hopefully a long-term place, where you can stay and raise a family, and Eugene certainly fits that. Come on, Sully! Come on, Sully! Having traveled the country in his career, Cutter has come to appreciate the national oh, reputation Oregon has developed, and he's glad to be part of it. The thing that's different here is the players expect to win every week uh, you know they think they can beat everybody on the schedule and, and the teams that do win and the teams that don't win uh, most of the difference is right between their ears and just believing they can do it and these guys definitely do the foundation for oregon's success is in place cutter and stubler would like nothing better than to add a few more stories to the building well, joining me in the broadcast in about 20 minutes will be Ken Woody. And Ken, you've been in, well, involved in these situations where new coordinators come in. They've got to coach new players. Tell us what the adjustments have been like. Well, Tony Graziani would be a good guy to ask about that. He's had four different quarterback coaches and coordinators in the last four years. And it takes some getting used to. You know, there's some relationships and uh, you anticipate how each other are going to think. All these things lend themselves to good chemistry and good production. It can be a strain on a, a relationship and, and, and production.